During the development of Half-Life 2, City 17 and its stylings went through several iterations. This work on the city was so thorough and intense that Viktor Antonov, a concept artist for Valve at the time, described it in the uncorrected version of Half-Life 2 raising the bar as urban planning. This planning was done through a slotting system for roads and city blocks. This urban design was also done in a slightly different manner. Sometime around 2003, Valve began to work on vast swaths of the city at once, laying out entire districts. This manifested in a couple of pre-release maps, whose evolution can be followed straight into the retail title. The first two of these maps are called Proto C17 Map. The first Proto C17 was last edited on March 13th, 2003. It is an extremely large map and is mostly flat. Here it is, running in the Gmod branch of Source 1. I am using the buggy placed by Valve themselves to randomly drive around. Due to the map's size, I have had to speed up the footage. This first Proto C17 map is 30,752 hammer units long by 20,480 units wide. Thanks to the Valve Developer Wiki, we can convert this to 1,922 feet long by 1,280 feet wide. This means that the total surface area of the map is 2,460,160 feet, roughly about 466 miles squared, or about 750 kilometers squared. The total height of the map is 15,632 units, which is 977 feet. There are a couple of interesting and specific areas, though. This block of buildings has a series of interiors laid out interconnecting them all, with non-interactive doors. Nearby is a small yard filled with junk. Which also has its own set of interiors. The map contains the ever-elusive City 17 River seen in several places in the retail titles. The Citadel is also brush-made rather than a model. There is also this starting area with the textured buildings. More of this area will be seen later. The second Proto C-17 map is very similar to the first. It was last edited June 9, 2003. This map is also being run in Gmod's branch of Source 1. On top of continuing to conclude the river, there are also several smaller canals spread out across the city. It features a lot more elevation changes. Once more, I am using a buggy placed by Valve to travel around. The similar scale means I have sped up this footage too. This map has the same dimensions as the previous Proto C-17 map, though it is rotated about 90 degrees. It is shorter, with a height of 3,344 hammer units, or 209 feet.
the Citadel became an animated model for this map. As with a couple of other models seen in other pre-release maps, this is a cycler entity, allowing it to loop its animation indefinitely. There is also this stylized building. It appears to be a carryover in design from the previous Proto-C17 map. The textured spawn area returns with a couple of different building designs, but is largely the same as the previous. For a size comparison, here are the two Proto C17 maps. And here is a map I made called RP City 17 Transit Block. It includes 12 different Half-Life 2 retail levels, including all 61 train station maps, four additional D3C17 maps, and two of the canal maps. Both of these prototype maps physically exceed RP City 17 Transit Block. RP City 17 Transit Block and what retail levels it covers brings us to the final map in this journey, Proto Train Station. In this map, there is a new core which the city was designed around, the train station. The map was last edited about the same time as the previous Proto C17 map, on June 9th, 2003. I have had to make a couple of modifications to the map, some areas were cut off by the skybox walls, and this section was darkened by the plane used in the 3D skybox. But this is largely what it looks like. Here's me walking and note clipping around. Again, I have sped this up. When factoring in my changes to the skybox walls, the map is 22,528 hammer units long by 18,864 hammer units wide. This is 1,408 feet long by 1,179 feet wide, meaning the surface area is 1,660,032 feet squared, which is roughly 314 miles squared or 506 kilometers squared. The map's total height is 4,480 units, or 280 feet. Unlike the previous maps, much of this area isn't filled with buildings or landmarks. The map also contains the train station interior, including both platforms, and several Metrocop cyclers. As well, the buildings that would become part of Kleiner's lab are here. Despite the clear glass, there is no interior. Finally, there is an incredibly large portion of what would eventually become D1 Canal 02, off in one corner. This includes a large section of underground tunnels, most of which did not end up in the retail version. The Citadel still remains as a model, and while you don't spawn there anymore, the previous spawn area still exists, just down the road from the train station.
Proto Train Station appears to have then been cut up after its creation, leading to the train station map seen in the retail title. This journey can be seen in these early versions of the D1 train station maps, which were last edited June and July 2003, containing several design remnants from the Proto Train Station map. I have also included some retail comparisons, 